Hey everyone, it's time for another edition of Wild Breakaway. Alongside Ryan Carter, I'm Audra Martin. Tonight in Seattle, the Minnesota Wild were looking for some payback against the Kraken. Rem Pitlick was looking for his first career goal. He got that. And then some ended up with his first career hat trick as the Minnesota Wild take down the Kraken 4-2 to two and end what was a really nice road trip. Yeah, a good road trip, a really good road game. You have to love the complexion of this one. The Wild, they knew Seattle was going to work hard, and, and I think they caught them by surprise the first time they went to Seattle. That wasn't the case tonight. They were prepared. They came out. They battled hard. Uh, and then they got some contributions from some guys maybe they weren't accustomed to. Rem Pitlick, right? Obviously, he got his first NHL goal, followed it up with two more first career NHL hats. Patrick. He called it a dream. Audra, I have a hard time believing he's going to catch any REM sleep in dreams tonight. Yeah. But um, ching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, it was uh, certainly a fun night and a good night for the Wild. But you didn't think uh, you'd be watching Wild Breakaway and getting Comedy Hour thanks to Ryan Cartman. Night, yeah. Well, here's a look at how <laughs> things went down tonight for Minnesota. They were able to strike first as Ryan Hartman races the puck and dishes one over to Rem Pitlick for number one. And gives former Wild Carson Susie a minus something he didn't have a lot of here in the Wild sweater, but good play there. Sauce pass on the back end over to a streak in Rem Pitlick. Into the second period, thanks to Ryan Hartman, the Kraken turn it over and look who it is, Rem Pitlick, number uh, two. Rem Pitlick from Ryan Hartman, get used to us saying that here tonight. Good play in the neutral zone by Hartman and Rem Pitlick does the rest. Good little quick play with the hands, backhand, forehand fake. Gets Grubauer down and puts it up over him. And then final minute of the second, Pitlick gets loose thanks to a nice pass from Ryan Hartman, number three. Uh, the goal looks very similar and actually so does the takeaway. It's Ryan Hartman, good defensive position, using the skates, breaking up a play, and then Pitlick worked the first time. Let's go back to it. Forehand, we beat Grubauer once again, hat trick, and the hats come out on the ice. Midway through the third, though, Seattle wants to get on the board. They do on the power play as Alex Wenberg goes cross ice to Marcus Johansson. Yeah, Cam Talbot had a solid night. This one, uh, the rare blemish again. I don't think this is on him whatsoever. Power play goal. Wenberg with a nice feed to a backdoor guy. Um, Why well, you can survive that? You can give one up when you score four. So the Wild are now ten and four on the season to reclaim first place in the Central Division, and it's history for Rem Pitlick. He is the first player in Wild history to have a hat trick in the same night that he gets his first career goal. The thirty-first player ever to do that in the NHL. Big night for Ryan Hartman as well. Three assists. He now has seven points in his last five games and here's what Dean Evison had to say about tonight's co-star in Ryan Hartman. Well he made a made a statement that he wants to play center maybe right but um, but again like you know like we talked about he doesn't care right he just plays and uh, his instincts were real good tonight um, his face-offs were good. He, I don't know what he finished, but uh, we trust him in all those areas. And um, just, you know, he, he plays the right way and, you know, got rewarded for it with, uh, you know, Rem scoring some nice goals for him. So after a winning road trip, the Wild come back home Tuesday night to take on the San Jose Sharks for the first time this season. Join us for Wild Live beginning at 630 right here on Bally Sports North. We look forward to seeing you then. For Ryan Carter, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.